thing you said earlier, I was literally trying to not burst into tears when you were talking, telling your story about your mother. Me too. Um, because my father died at 42. I, I was 16, and it was that was also part of the orientation mm -hmm. in my mind why I wanted to go into politics and social change work. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll be honest with you, born and raised in the D.C. area, went to work in federal politics, worked a big think tank, did all the fancy stuff, went to the White House, mm -hmm. and I got tired of it. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh-uh. I want to make a difference in the world. I want to change the world. I love my people. I love community. I love giving back. But that system for me was so sickening. Right. There was something, I want to just right. keep it real here. There was something so nauseating to my soul mm. about going to work. And I, wor and I worked in wonderful places. If y'all look at my bio, don't curse out my old bosses. I had great bosses, great jobs. But there was something unhealthy about it. It felt to me, right? The, so what I want to ask you, as you're encouraging, and as each of you are encouraging people to maybe go the route that you went, whether that is, you know, go into run for office, whether that is join Black Lives Matter, whether that is be a vocal activist for a candidate, what's one thing that you wish someone had told you before you entered into the position and started using your voice in the way that you're using it now? What's one thing that you would tell somebody else that you're saying, go do this, Go run for office, go become, be a disruptor in Black Lives Matter, go be vocal for a candidate. What's one thing you wish someone had told you that you would now tell someone else that could make that path easier for them, that could keep them in it, that could sustain them, that could prepare them for what disruption feels like? 